All right, so today is like double haul day. I say double haul because I've got library haul. A um, few I bought actually last week, and then all my holds came up at the same time. And haul from Mosaic Books in Kelowna, BC. So let's get started. We'll start with the library haul. We'll start with the two that I have purchased actually. Uh, like I said in a previous one, my library sells used uh, hardcover books, or you, they're used books uh, every so often, and I just check the rack whenever I'm in. So what I picked up recently was, always looking up, uh, Memoir, Michael J. Fox. Just, I don't know, Memoirs is what I'm kind of reading a little bit more towards now, and so that looked interesting. It's uh, An Adventure of an Incurable Optimist, Michael J. Fox, always looking up. And I got How Pleasure Works, The New Science of Why We Like What We Like, Paul Bloom. Pretty bright in the light there. And this one stuck out to me. Honestly, it said sex in the first sentence. The thought of sex with a virgin is intensely arousing for many men. So, you know, about pleasure. It goes more than just sex, but it's about how pleasure works from food to television to abstract art, yada, yada, yada. So that one, those two will go into my library. They are from the library, but they will be added to mine. And next is like all my haul, all my uh, my holds from the library. So these are books that I wanted to read. Some of them I wanted to read or at least peruse to see if I want to add it to my library. And some of them are just things I want to read. Oh, come on in. So this is the first one. Turn around. You got to say hi. You going to say hi? Hello. I, I love look you. Look at the camera. Hello. I love you. Bye bye. <laughs> this. What's your name? Lorelai. How old are you? Six years old. You don't have to talk to the mic. Just look at the camera. And then how, what's your favorite book right now? Dragon Nets of Destiny and Thea Stiltons. Dragonettes of Destiny and Thea Stiltons are her favorite books right now. Listen to them on audiobook, The Dragonettes of Destiny, like all the time. That's Wings of Fire series. And Thea Stilton, she keeps bringing home from the, li from the school library, right? Ah! Right? Napido. Okay. And uh, we have another one. Come here. Oh, you can go here. What's your name? I love you. Shh, Arwen. Arwen. What's your name? Arwen and Mrs. McGill. And how old are you, Arwen? How, say it. Three. Three. What's your favorite book right now? Uh, the Princess in Black. Princess in Black is her favorite series. And what's your favorite? Do you have a favorite one, Princess in Black? Uh-huh. What is it? The Princess and the Big. That's not a Princess in Black book. The Princess and the Pig is a different book. I know. But you like that one too? Mm-hmm. Okay, that works for me. All right, head upstairs. Are you all tidied up? So we can have dinner? Don't touch the camera. <laughs> I still want to talk. Bye-bye. I love you. I want to say goodbye. <laughs> Don't hit the camera. All right, go upstairs. I'll be up in a minute. Go upstairs, I'll be up in a minute. Go. <laughs> so after that brief interlude, we're going to talk about the first one. This is The Last Child in the Woods by Richard Louvre. Oh, she's back. This is about uh, the yeah, nature yeah. and kids oh, yeah. and how we don't, mm -hmm. I guess how we don't, or like what's the relationship between nature and kids and what do we do oh, or do not do with it. Yeah. After reading Free Range Kids, I thought about this. Don't grab the, nope, don't touch that. After reading Free Range Kids, that's one of the recommended, so I oh, yes. try to read oh, yes. something out of the oh, no, bibliography. Oh, no. yes. You can make faces, but you got to be quiet. So this is in the bibliography of Free Range Kids. Are you going for real this time? <laughs> okay, next up, The Tale of Bill Murray by Gavin Edwards. I saw this at, in Kelowna, actually, and I thought, hey, I should get that. And I put it in the library hold, uh, like, literally two days ago, and they had it in stock right away. So <laughs> so got that one. This is uh, just, like, the coolest thing that Bill Murray has done, who seems to be an intriguing character. So that'll be an interesting one to read. So this is Careless People. I saw this uh, on booktube. I don't know. I can't remember who. Um, this is about murder mayhem and the invention of the Great Gatsby. So it just seemed interesting. Kind of some of the stuff that was happening around the same time as the Great Gatsby was written. And just that whole era. And, and some possible real murder in here. So that'll be interesting. Oh, 
Oh, yes. In the Plex by Stephen Levy. This is about being in Google, uh, and that's it. I just again, thought it would be another interesting one just to look at what what it's like at Google, how it works, stuff like that. Um, maybe I got this out after I read Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. That review is coming up. They talk about Google there. Maybe I picked that up out of that. I don't remember, but it looked interesting, so I grabbed it. There's actually one on Facebook coming at some point as well from the library. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Bye, bud. <laughs> Shh. Dirt by, uh, who does this? David R. Montgomery. I heard this on Peak Human podcast. This talks about how soil um, affects, like, the culture and uh, the farming practices affect, like, how the cities are built and stuff like that. So that one, uh, I don't know. Again, all of these, I'm not sure if I'll add any of them to my library. Maybe the Bill Murray one. Uh, probably not in the Plex. Um, but I can see the the Last Child in the Woods come, becoming a permanent fixture in my library. This is just one that I wanted to read for information. Interesting to see if it's worthwhile to keep in my library. Oh, yes. <sighs> And this one I actually heard about yesterday. It's Team of Rivals. Team of Rivals. Uh, it's a political genius of Abraham Lincoln. It's a huge book. I picked it up when I got there. and I was like, oh my goodness. Literally last night I put this on my hold list. I'm just looking at the page number. And thought, oh, I should get that. Looks kind of interesting. Um, I think I was reading, maybe I read this in The God Delusion? Uh, it talked about this. I don't remember. Oh no, maybe uh, uh, I'd rather be reading. Um, which is upstairs. So I don't know who did that one. But uh, maybe I saw it in that. And I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. So I grabbed it. Mm. Anyways, it's like 754 pages. I'd like to get through that. Uh, I don't think there's any holds on it. So I actually started my reading from the library by seeing who was already waiting for a book. And Last Child in the Woods, someone's already waiting for. So I'll go through that one first. And then I'll see what else I can get through before I have to return stuff. Yeah, bye, bye. Why do you keep saying bye? You're not leaving. Oh. So now we're on to the books that I bought in Kelowna. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah, because I'm not to go to Kelowna. I've never been there before. We're going to go to Kelowna in a couple of months. Then there's a pool girl. There is a pool. And we need to wear our goggles. Yes. If in our seven seats. Yes. Our first, okay, first book is misogyny. Um, and this is about how 50% of the population treats the other 50% poorly. Um, this was uh, actually saw it right next to it on the shelf at the uh, book at uh, Mosaic Books was uh, Invisible w Women, which I really enjoyed. That a whole section related to gender and LGBTQ issues. So that one, I that again became a fixture. It was seven ninety nine on sale as well. Okay. Next is Grit by Angela Duckworth. I have this on Kindle already. Uh, I may have it in audiobook as well. It was a good book, nine ninety nine. My wife was interested. I just want it in my library. So I'll go back through this at some point. Although for now it'll actually get filed. Uh, I won't read it right away. What are you doing? I don't know. Okay. Scratch. Uh, this is another one that I actually own on Kindle. I have never read it though. And it's about writing. It's interviews with authors like Susan Orlean, who I just finished the library book review coming up. Um, Jennifer Weiner, 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 Roxane Gay, Austin Cleon. So some interesting authors. It's supposed to be a good book about the craft of writing. <laughs> okay, that's enough jumping. Okay. Next up is uh, the first uh, in the, was it the Wool Trilogy? I forget what they call it, but I've read this before. So this is Wool, uh, it's first in a trilogy, uh, and they also had Dust, the third in a trilogy. I own this on Kindle, read it multiple times as well, so I need to get Shift, which is the second book in the trilogy. No, no, sit down. I need to get Dust, or Shift still, so that'll be... Two of them, those will just go into my collection. I like the books, knew I wanted to keep them, so they'll go into my fiction collection. Oh, oh yes. Okay, we're down to the last three. Farsighted by Steve Johnson, how we make decisions that matter the most. It simply looked interesting. I feel like I have this already on Kindle, but I don't know for sure. Uh, and it looked interesting. And uh, much like some other people I see, I try to make a point of if I just like a book, if it looks halfway interesting and I got the money, I just buy it. Uh, sometimes even though I don't have the money, I just buy it and figure out how I pay for everything else. So farsighted. Oh, we have another one back. You're looking grumpy. What's up? I'll come upstairs in a minute. Let me finish the video. Is the floor clean? Well, there's no shows until the floor is clean. So let me finish up. Two more books, okay? Uh, no. Then go clean, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll come up in a minute. Can I watch? Sure you can watch. 
No, you can't stand right in front of the camera, but you can sit beside me if you want. Next up is Loon Shots by Safi uh, Bacall, we'll say. Um, this is how to nurture the crazy ideas that win wars, cure diseases, and transform industries. It just looked cool. That's it. Uh, I don't have a plan to read this immediately. I'll read it eventually, but maybe not immediately. Cool book. And our final book, Superhuman by Rowan Hooper. Life at the extremes of our capacities. This is about like people who run ultra marathons, people who like run crazy ultra marathons, not just like 50k, but even bigger. Uh, what does it say? Uh, uh, in 1997, uh, Yanis Kuros ran 188 miles in 24 hours and a bunch of people who did like exceptional things, whether it's physically or in their brain or, uh, you know, super pizza young to get into college, sauce. stuff like that. So we're not having pizza sauce. We're having soup tonight. So that's what this one's about. Again, seemed interesting. It's going to get filed on my shelf, and I will read it at some point. Not quite right now. So that's it. If you enjoyed oh, the video, if you enjoyed the munchkins here, hi, bun, say hi. Hi, bye, bye. Then you hi. can subscribe below. And if you really loved it, I guess hit thumbs up, but never hit the bell because you got better things to do, like play with your munchkins or read a book or something like that. I think we're going to go now. Should we go have Bye-bye. Di- oh, bye-bye. Should we go have dinner and stuff? Have a happy day and a happy Have a nice. happy banana. Have a happy banana. No, no, no. Don't touch the camera. You'll break it. Don't touch the camera. Fingers off. There you go. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Don't touch it. And bye-bye, then... Bye-bye, <laughs> And you guys got to go clean all the paper off the floor so you can have dinner. Let's go. I already did. No screeching. Upstairs. I can't get to the camera. Bye.